Hello, welcome to The Dark Pictures Switchback. So, The Dark Pictures, you know The Dark Pictures. It's a series of short horror story games that have been coming out over the past few years that we all love. Let's say that. Uh, well, Supermassive made a VR game that came out in 2023. This game is a bit different than the Dark Pictures games you know, because this one is a follow-up to a PSVR 1 game by Supermassive called Until Dawn Rush of Blood, which was a game that took the setting of Until Dawn and turned it into a rail shooter. Quite literally, you are in a... you're in a roller coaster. You're on a rail, you have a gun, you're shooting stuff. It was fun! That, That game was a lot of fun. And so, Supermassive made the same kind of game, but this time for the Dark Pictures, uh, making use of the settings and creatures of the four Dark Pictures games. Uh, So that's what what we're going to be playing now. Now you might wonder, uh, the Dark Pictures games are very story-based, very heavy in terms of, hey, you're making choices, how does the narrative, how do the characters change based on those choices? Is Switchback going to be like that? Um... Uh, it kind of has a story? Let's say it has a premise more than it has a story. Well, you'll see. The game's mostly about shooting up the games that you're familiar with more than a comprehensive story. Though there is something. Let's just begin a new ride and you'll see for yourself. Yep. Uh, yeah, I already, I already did beat the game. So, uh, and I figured maybe you'd like to see it. Story mode is experience the ride with a lighter combat challenge. Survival is balanced. Nightmare is more demanding. Let's just go with, with uh, the normal mode. Let's just go with that. Okay, so we start off in a subway. Who are we? Eh, we're, we're just someone. Just going... Going somewhere, who knows who we're go- where we're going. But we got some passengers with us on the train. Hey, it's me. We're getting a call from Charlotte. Um, I guess you must be in a dead zone or something. I, I just wanted to say thanks. I didn't think you'd come. Not after that. You. Oh! Oh! <laughs> It's a $300 trousers, you fucking idiot! Well, I mean, she spilled it. Blaming me for ruining your pants. Well, our train just crashed. It seems like that uh, is a bit more important than the lady's pants getting ruined by our coffee. And we find ourselves on a roller coaster. Where does the track take us, though? Hey, there's our train. It's not doing too well, though. To Inferno's ride. We hope you enjoy your journey. <laughs> well, as fun as it seems, oh, we have guns now. I mean, presumably we had somewhere to be. Looks like we were going to see Charlotte, I assume. That's who was calling us on the phone. All right, how do we play? We shoot things. It's telling me to shoot these skulls. So I can reload by pressing square or by shaking the gun. And I guess there's an appeal to, you know, shaking the gun, having that sort of, you know, physical 
feeling to it, but uh, I don't find it to be very reliable. Of course, we have two guns. We could just, you know, open fire. And with the regular guns, we do have unlimited ammo. Right, shake the gun. We will get more powerful weapons that do have... There we go. Aiming a little high, I think. There we go. More powerful weapons do have limited ammo, but these are our regular handguns, and we could just shoot these as much as we want. And it mentions that uh, shooting things can give me points, like things with that, uh, that symbol, the pentagram. And we want points. Says it right, we see our points right there. Why wouldn't we want points? Oh. It, 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 there we go. We hear yelling whenever I shoot one of those. I don't know if we're... I don't know. Are we saving souls? Like, that are souls that are trapped in the items? I don't know. Move my head. All right, so... I can get bumped by obstacles on the track. So even though I'm sitting down... I do have to, you know, move around in my seat to avoid getting my head bumped. And you can feel when your head gets bumped, because the PSVR 2 does have rumble in the headset itself, which is kind of neat. So, uh, you know, your head shakes a bit when you get, when you get bonked. That's what you do in a roller coaster, right? When it goes down, you go fast. You put your hands up and yell "woo." I'm pretty sure that's. I'm pretty sure that's what you're expected to do. Oh, now we got now. Oh, we're moving. Oh. We're moving, but we got tar. Ow! I bumped my head, but we so. Yeah, things get a little harder to shoot when you're moving fast. I guess we're not going that way. And hey, look who it is. It's the man. He'll be here, you know, he'll be appearing now and again to, to look at how we're doing. He doesn't talk to us, though. So sometimes we'll see that, those arrows, and if I shoot it, I can go the other way. Now, the first time I went through the game, I did usually shoot those, so I probably won't shoot them often this time, because I would be curious to see what the other paths look like. Like, I could shoot this right now. I'm not, so we're going left. We could have gone right. They eventually lead to the same place, but you do see some different things, horrors, based on which direction you're going. So, early on in VR, roller coaster simulators were quite popular. So I guess, when they made Rush of Blood, they decided why not combine that with shooters. Why not indeed? All right, we got some more powerful guns. These have ammo, represented by the skulls on my wrists. Oh. I think that should be everything. I could blow up some boxes if you want. So, shooting in this way, that it is something that VR is quite good at. No, you and I haven't been exactly close for a while now. 
We're hearing that phone call from Charlotte. She was calling us at the time that the train wrecked. Is she still calling us? Is that phone call still going on right now? And we have reached the end of the tutorial track. Ah. No. We cannot we cannot stop our oncoming fate. Yeah, here we are. We're in the burning train. There's our phone. Charlotte's still trying to talk to us. But uh, sorry, Charlotte. We're burning to death right now. It's a real intense scene in here. Oh. Something went wrong with this game or app. Well, I mean, truly, uh, I could not escape my fate. I, uh... I mean, I, 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 tr I tried to escape. I could not. I, could, I was not able to escape through taking, through riding a roller coaster and shooting some guns. Death comes for us all. Oh, death. In Oh Death Indeed, something went wrong with this game or app. Well, we could always try it again. Well, I mean, obviously, we have to. We can't just die by uh, b burning to death in the flaming wreckage of the subway. Just wondering, did it retain where I stopped? Like, if I... It's only got real meaty in there. If I, uh, click continue game, is it gonna be... Yeah, there's our friend. He wouldn't let us down. If I click on continue game, continue ride... Will, did it save where I was? Okay, good. <laughs> it saved where we stopped. I'm relieved to be here in the burning wreckage of the subway. Exactly where I want to be. I can't think of anywhere else. I think the game survived that time. Yeah, here we go. We're continuing on. Make that gonna make that coin spin faster. Could make it spin the other way. While everything is loading. Alright. Okay, so we're going into the next track. So now this is the first proper track. Now I mentioned that this I game it is a sign of things to come. By the game crashing? I hope not, too. So, I mentioned that this game uses the Dark Pictures games as a setting for a shooter. We have now entered Man of Medan. You remember Man of Medan, the very first Dark Pictures game? We had such high hopes at that time, didn't we? Yes, we did. High hopes about what this series of, uh... Story ba this story-based horror anthology would be like. Oh, more optimistic days. This is the beginning of Man of Medan, going through the market where the fortune teller was. The soldiers were stationed here. Then they had to go back to the Orang Medan, which was housing the Manchurian gold. Ah, crystal ball. Get out of here, crystal ball. No fortune telling for me. All right, now we got enemies. We got zombies. So in Man of Medan, the monsters were all fake, right? All hallucinations because they were all hallucinating due to the Manchurian gold. Uh, there's nothing like this in, that, in this game. This is just a shooter. It's not like you have to decide who you are and not going to shoot. Just, you're shooting everyone and everything.
and we have no control over our car. So it's if it's if it's gonna stop here, we can't just make it go. Man and Madame, the story of a group of people, some of them friends, some of them not, who decided they were going to go deep, deep sea exploring in a wreck that they were not supposed to go to. They had no business being there. Ow. Bump, I bumped my head. They learned about the Orang Medan, which was lost at sea. And they read that it was holding the Manchurian gold. And then they, they were attacked by pirates. And the pirates wanted a piece of that gold. Let's get that gun. So this is a grenade launcher, I think. It has one shot. Oh, it only got one of them. Right, so they all thought it was treasure. It was not treasure. It was a chemical weapon. I made them all hallucinate, start seeing things. All right, I have, to, I have to keep, hold on, adjusting my PSVR 2 headset because it keeps sliding down too far, my face. I don't know if there's a better way to wear this. I find I don't wear it well. bumped by something. Hmm? Ah, rats. Those rats are doing a number on that guy. So, I, you see blood appearing on the screen. It's when I take damage. I don't have a health meter. Basically, it's... As I take damage, eventually I would die. But then if I don't take damage, my health will regenerate. But we don't see a meter or number on the screen, I don't think. That is going to tell me these things. We can just glean how we're doing from the redness.
So as far as the gameplay goes, you are sitting in a chair, but as you as you see, you do like a lot of swiveling around, you do a lot of moving around in the chair. For a seated game, it is pretty physically active. Oh, we're heading into the meat tunnel. That's where you never want to be in a horror game. We all love the meat tunnel. We all love when it shows up, but you don't want to be in there. Ah. Oh, hello. It vomited on me. Arrow coming up ahead. I will shoot this one. Because th if it's the one I'm thinking of, I thought this was kind of a neat thing. This was not the turn I was thinking of. That'll come up later than what I'm thinking of. So we're fighting a lot of monsters that you may remember from Man of Medan, all of the monsters that never re really existed. Uh, we will not be encountering any of the characters from the game like our party members or the pirates. I mean, it would, it would be bad form to, even though the pirates were the villains, would be bad form to shoot human beings, I guess. No, only monsters. a little red here but one thing I was thinking of it would have been kind of neat if they integrated the fake out thing from Man of Medan in this where maybe you're not supposed to shoot something they do not do that This would be the airplane, the sub, the submerged airplane that our party members uh, found at the beginning, which led them on the trail to the ship and the Manchurian gold. Woo! 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 Make sure my guns are out so I can shoot targets. Oh, okay. Turn off the flames. Like that. But then we will be having more than one lever at a time. And some of them... Uh, hold on. Some of them take longer to fill up than others. And they both have to fill up at the same time. So that is one particular obstacle in this level. Here's three of them. And, okay, yes. So the bottom one was the slowest one on that.
It's funny when I'm thinking about Man of Medan. I haven't actually looked at the game since I played it years ago. I remember our characters. I remember the pirates. I don't remember too much about the monsters, and maybe that's because the monsters were not consequential. I think maybe that's why I don't really remember them. I do like the environment. I do like going through the old rusty ship. Okay, that I guess if there if he's behind me, he will not try to get up in front of me. It doesn't seem like this game expects you to turn around and shoot directly behind you. I mean, you can. You can do it. But the game never seems to expect you to do that. Oh, here we are in the cargo hold. Oh, and look what we got. It's the Manchurian gold itself. Like, that was the box it came in, right? I'm pretty sure. Oh no, now I've been infected with it, and I'm seeing things. Ah! That was the lady whose pants got ruined looking much more monstrous now. She's so angry about her ruined pants. Blaming me for her ruined... She, she spilled my coffee. I should be blaming her for spilling my coffee. It was my coffee. Who's gonna pay for that? Bumped by the foot. Oh, there he is. He's not engaging us in conversation, asking us if we're making the good shoes or the bad shoes. Well, I mean, that's because we're not actually in his uh, library, are we? We're a character in the story, I suppose. And here's the ballroom. The music stopped. Oh, and here's one of the passengers from the subway. So in each, uh, in each set of two levels, we find a passenger who is in a death trap. And we, ha we can either save him, let him die, or just, like, move on. Like, I can just shoot these locks and move on without him. Let's save him, though. Let's be a nice person. That wa that tank's filling up with water. I have to time this. So those these will all hit at the same time. Okay, that side's done. And that side? Yes. There we go. He's out. Yeah. So I could have waited and let him and watched him die, and that could have an effect at the end. Or 
I could shoot these locks off. And then we would just move on regardless of how he's doing. And that's our score. We have finished the level. But why wouldn't I want to save him? He was just a passenger on the on the subway. He didn't spill my coffee on his pants. Blaming me for that. Yeah, there he is. He's back now. Uh, we're listening to Choke, it seems. Alright. So, the first Man of Medan level is done. There are two. Each of the Dark Pictures games gets two levels. Here we are on the second. Oh, the lights on my guns went out. That'll happen sometimes. They're back now. Sometimes the flashlights will just go off. Oh, right. I think this is the one I was thinking of. <laughs> Yeah, so this bit, I'm pretty sure there, this was not in the game it's in Man of Medan. It says, don't blink. I don't, rem I don't remember these mannequins. But it says not to blink around these naked mannequins. And the reason... Oh, I blinked. The reason it says that is because the PSVR 2 does have uh, eye-tracking technology, so it can track if I blink. So what happens if I just don't blink? I blinked. I don't think you can out stare them. Yeah, I blinked again. Like if you don't if you don't blink, I just think nothing happens. I blinked. There's a lot of them. I blinked again. Doesn't seem like I can shoot him as of yet. Okay, now I can. Blink, blink, blink. So that is a pretty neat effect. I, I don't know. I don't think it would look as effective watching this on on a video because wearing the headset their move their uh, teleportation is timed to my blinks and it works quite well I, want, I mentioned that I guess I am not in the curator's library, but rather I am a character in one of his stories. So how would he describe this 
to the person going into his library. Oh, hold on. F first of all, it looks like we got a... Is that a meat tunnel in front of us? We went through a meat tunnel previously. Oh, yeah. This one's even meatier than before. Oh, this is the hand tunnel. Meat and hands. High five. Yeah. Woo! Gonna get myself a meaty massage. Just get the hands all over. We love them. We love being compressed into the meat and hands tunnel. Yeah. Everyone loves this. But then, then the lights go out. And that's when the real stuff starts to happen. When the lights go out. Ah! Ah! I didn't have my guns. I tried to punch him. Mm. And then the meat opens. Got my guns back. Alright, so... Those? Do you think the... The curator is just saying... So... You've returned for another one of my stories. Well, in this tale of the macabre, there is a person who may or may not have died in a subway crash. They're now currently sitting in a roller coaster car. And they have two handguns. And they are shooting, and they are shooting, and shooting some more. You will choose what they shoot. But will you make a good choice or a bad choice? Who can say? Will your charge survive your decisions on what they will shoot? Well, I mean, I guess the decision you can make is which direction you go on the track. That is a choice. Oh, and whether or not you, ch you choose to save the other survivors, you do get that choice as well. Why, hello. So she, that, that lady, uh, hallucination was in Man of Medan, and the whole thing with her was that uh, she turned into an old hag. Yeah, like that. Now, I don't remember her having telekinetic powers. walk she has. A jaunty walk. She's out of here. But no, fight's not over. she goes. You know, one thing it's a shame is that there's no uh, optional Ben's ending for the Man of Medan levels. You think you made it out? No. You're gonna die because of the Ben's, because of the choice you made at the beginning of the game. Which I still think is very funny.
filling with blood. You hate to see that. Well, it looks like the hag is back. She is not dead. She's here for round two. Down she go once again. We're out on the deck. And there's the man. I hope he thinks I'm doing a good job. I would have wanted to disappoint him. Alright, the, the pants and coffee thing, that was your fault. That was your fault, and I do not appreciate being blamed for that. Some people just can't uh, admit to when they were at fault for something. I always have to put it on someone else. Well, the hag is not done yet. Hag is back for round three. Can't shoot her when that field is up. Gotta shoot the stuff that she's throwing at me. And we're waiting for the red explodey barrel to come up. Yeah, there it is. Oh. I didn't hit it? That's hard to believe I didn't hit that. Alright, I guess we're gonna try that again. That does, the red barrel does kill you in one hit. But I'm, I don't know how I didn't shoot that enough.
Now you could try to shoot him. I mean, that's not going to do anything. You can't shoot the curator. You should know that. I don't think there's anything in here for us. All right. Let's uh, try harder this time to shoot the red barrel. So this is the radio room, by the way, from Anna Madan. At the beginning, you see the comms officer attempting to put out a, a message saying that they're in trouble. Shooting her is not going to do anything either. The rage over her stained pants is too great. Stronger than bullets. It's the source of her power. Once you shoot the red barrel, it, it takes away her force field, and you can shoot her. Okay, let's shoot a bit more wildly at that. There we go. I guess I must have been missing the first time. Oh, she just fell right through the floor. And the ship's fallen apart, so it probably would be a good time for us to leave. And we've reached the end of the level. So those are the two Man of Medan levels. in the Dark Pictures switchback as we head back into the subway tunnel. Uh, this is the route we took in Haunted Shipwreck. Yeah, the alternate paths are just are pretty short. It just goes into a different kind of room with a different, uh, you know, style monster or gimmick in it. And, of course, we did rescue the survivor, which we didn't have to, but we wanted to. That's the path we took. All right, so it says, I shot the crystal ball in the market. I didn't shoot the ghost in the mirror. I guess I didn't notice that. Uh, I didn't sink the diving uh, boat. Um, I guess a boat went by us at one point. I, don't I didn't realize I had the option to do that. Anthony saved in the haunted shipwreck. And you can see there are options for killed or abandoned. I did not make it rain blood. How do I make it rain blood? I don't know. Uh, I didn't see the... Uh, what does that say? The sailor in the... No, I saw him. I didn't shoot him in time. And I shot the rat in the cargo hold. So, okay. Those are our stats for Man Madan. And as we go back, well, yeah, it turns out we're still burning to death in the subway. Turns out that hasn't changed. 
and uh, it's it sounds like Charlotte is still talking to us on the phone. I guess we're not in a state to really respond to her, are we? Doesn't seem like it. And now, we've entered into the next set of levels, which of course are based on Little Hope, our, our favorite horror game taking place in a small town. We all loved it. Didn't we? Yeah, we did. Time to just shoot a whole bunch of guns in it. Which, you know, could make it a better game. <laughs> um, so, that's our beginning of the Dark Pictures switchback. Uh, I'm enjoying it. The one thing I'm not so enjoying so much is the way this PSVR 2 sits on my head. It like, keeps sliding forward and putting pressure on my nose. And I think it's supposed to be seated further back on the head. And it's just not staying there. It's just not staying there. It just kind of goes forward onto my nose, and I don't like it. But I do like the game. Uh, we will continue on with the dark pictures as we go through Little Hope. Uh, see if we can rescue someone else from the subway wreck, and see if that lady with the expensive pants can deal with her anger issues over her pants being stained. Next time. <laughs>